Hi there, my name's Annette. Sunbeam Fabric Art is my channel. Today I got in the mail a new little gadget I want to try out and I'm going to tell you why here in a second. Um, as you can see here, I am going to turn this camera around so you can see this big pile of straps. So these, this big pile of straps is made, I made this bag, because, or the straps, because I am working on a big bunch of bags. I'm making a big bunch of bags. And these bags need straps. So I made these straps. So let me, let me tell you more about these straps. So the straps are cut from four inch width of fabric and I wanted all the straps to be brown, but I didn't have enough of one brown fabric, so I did piece together various brown fabrics into a continuous long four inch strip. So I have these lovely straps. Well, I have this kit of, a, it's called a, uh, I think a bias, bias seam tape maker. I have the kit, I've made some bias seam tape. Um, maybe sometime I'll do a video on how to use those, but you're going to see it. Um, today in the mail, I got this thing called a LNKA Bias Tape Maker, pre-maker, 50 centimeters, 2 inches. Because I was thinking to myself, is it possible there's a bias tape maker out there that would make making my straps easier? Because they're a 4 inch strip that I fold in half, then I fold uh, each half and half and squish it all back together to make a one inch wide strip. So this is what I got in the mail today. Left on my front porch by our trusty uh, Jack of All Products company out there. Um, I think it was like $12. Um, but anyway, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to cut some four inch strips and we're going to see if this makes making a whole batch of purse straps or bag straps that I am planning. I mean, I make them a lot. So it's like, um, this might make my job a lot easier. So I'm going to try it out here. So here you see, I'm opening up this uh, hexagon fabric that I have. I just want to cut some four inch strips. Well, I was about to cut and I realized how wrinkly that fabric was, so I quickly moved that over to my little wool pressing mat and pressed out the majority of those big wrinkles. So I lined up one of the folds on the line on my cutting mat. Then I drew the bottom fold up to make it parallel as well. So that avoids a bend or a bow in strips. If you make sure your folds are both parallel with each other. So first I cut a four inch strip. So push that excess aside. Then the next thing to do, before running some fabric through a bias tape maker, um, you do have to kind of put a point on the end. So the first point I tried Uh, was just a just like at the top of a house a roof top of kind of point fence top point and I tried to put that in I did not want to go you can see I'm kind of struggling up with it a little bit trying to get that in there it does not want to go so then I decided I would just do like a 90 degree I'm sorry 45 degree angle cut and that that was 
much better. It went right in. I was able to pull out that point on the other side and kind of manipulate the fabric a little bit to get it So I was fiddling with it a little bit, and you can see that on the back, it kind of, kind of is bunching up a little bit. So I got my iron. I got my iron out and laid it down on my pressing mat. And the trick is to pull through one side and the little um, device is supposed to automatically fold those outside edges over so that eliminates a couple of ironing passes. And when you're doing a very, very long strip like I was the other day, um, this is a great, a really great tool. Um, for, for my part, on this first pass, it was not coming out perfectly like I, I expected. Um, I did do a little manipulation and pressing that center seam together. It didn't seem like I could just hold my iron over that end and pull through, move the iron forward, pull a little bit, move the iron forward, which is the way it's supposed to work. It's supposed to make it really, really easy. But I did get to the end of that strip, and then, as you can see, uh, the next step to make my bag straps, which is my uh, a project that I do a lot, um, is to just fold that over in half and press it again. So then I end up with a one inch strap. So in my case, I used a four inch piece of fabric, four inch wide. I decided to cut that down a little bit because 50 millimeters, which is the size of this tool, is not exactly two inches. It's a little less. So um, you cut double the width, and that would be four inches or 100 centimeter or 100 millimeters, but 100 millimeters is not exactly four inches. So this one, this strip, I, did, I repeated the whole process and I did it. Oh, you can see my blue is bunched over there. You don't want to see the right side of your fabric on the big side of the bias maker. You just want to see the wrong side of the fabric. It should make a little U shape, a little, a little uh, bottom of a boat shape. And then as it comes through on the other side, that bias maker, <clears throat> the bias maker um, flips it over. So it, it puts that fold in it for you so you don't have to, so you don't have to press that down. So there, there you can see it's all the wrong side of the fabric. I'm not seeing anything on the right side of the fabric until it comes out the other side. So I started pulling this through and it, it was easily, it was quickly apparent that this sized down strip a little bit less than four inches was the perfect size. Um, it's, it's your choice whether you leave that little gap in there or if you press them together with your hand. But gosh, this was so easy to just pull this through. Um, I did it both ways. I left it open. Then I uh, was pressing, pressing that center together just to see if that would make a huge difference. Um, it didn't really make a huge difference because when you fold it over that last time, it's gonna come out pretty pretty close to that one inch strip strap that I'm looking for. So all in all, I really did like this tool. It was great. I would recommend it. I would buy it again. If I lose this one, I will definitely buy it again. Uh, it's pretty big. I think it's gonna be pretty hard to lose. Um, I'm just showing here how I would stitch down the sides of the strap to make a bag strap. My final take, I would definitely recommend this product. I would definitely buy this product again. For anyone who has to make a two inch bias strip or a one inch strap, yes, definitely a great tool. This is Annette with Sunbeam Fabric Art. Have a great day.